Software Spring Presence How to use sequence in Google Sheets Hi folks, greetings. Welcome to this tutorial on the sequence function. Let's begin with an intro to sequence. Sequence returns grid of consecutive or non-consecutive numbers. Grid spans specified number of rows and columns. Starting number can be 1 or any other number. Each number after starting number can be increased or decreased by a specified number from its preceding number. Alright, let's look at the syntax of the sequence function formula. Here's an example. Rows is the number of rows to fill with numbers. Columns is optional and is the number of columns to fill with numbers. Start is optional and is the first starting number of the sequence. The default value is 1. Step is optional and is the number by which to increase or decrease each number from its preceding number. Moving forward, here is the objective one of three of using the sequence function to fill seven rows with consecutive numbers. All right, type seven for rows. We will not use these arguments, so we will leave them blank. Okay, we are all set to type the sequence function formula. First, type the equal to symbol, SEQ, and select sequence. For rows, click this cell, and press enter. Alright, sequence has filled 7 rows, of 1 column, with consecutive numbers. Here is objective 2 of 3. To fill 5 rows, spanning 3 columns, with consecutive numbers. Ok, type 5 for rows, and 3 for columns. We will leave these arguments blank, because we are not using them. Let's modify the formula, to include columns. Click this cell. Click here, and type comma. For columns, click this cell, and press enter. Alright, sequence has filled 5 rows, spanning 3 columns, with consecutive numbers. Lastly, here is objective 3 of 3. To fill 5 rows of 1 column, with numbers starting from 100, and increasing other numbers by 2. Type 1 for column, 100 for start, and 2 for step. Click this cell, to modify the formula. Click here, and type comma. For start, click this cell, and type comma. For step, click this cell, and press enter. There you go. Sequence has filled 5 rows, and 1 column, as per the specifications. To fill numbers in a descending order, specify a negative number, for step argument. Let's work on this tip. Change step value to minus 2, and press enter. Alright, sequence has filled the cells with numbers, in descending order. Quick review. Sequence, can fill cells with consecutive, or non-consecutive numbers. Sequence function formula is Specify a negative number for step to fill cells with numbers in descending order. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.